what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I came across an old interview of Denzel Washington promoting his movie, Roman J. Israel Esquire. In the interview, he talked about gang violence, incarceration, street activity. Denzel says straight up, it starts at home. He said, you can talk about not having your daddy there. He said, yeah, but where was his daddy? Oh man, that hit me. That hit me. See, I know some people are going to get mad. Well, you know, man, the system is hard on a brother and this and that. He said, yeah, well, we already know all of that. We know that, but yet and still, we allow ourselves to get caught up. We will walk right into that trap. We know it's a trap right there. And we will walk right into that trap voluntarily. Why? You know, oftentimes out of desperation, impatient, arrogance, things of that such. He said that, yes, the system is rigged. All the more reason to not allow yourself to get caught up. Man, come on, Denzel. I'm going to tell you straight up. Denzel Washington, my favorite actor of all time. And it's beautiful to hear people that you admire speak candidly about life and who are not afraid to tell the truth. You know how they say the truth hurts? The truth hurts, man, especially people who don't like accepting responsibility. You hit them with some truth, man, it's like kryptonite. How they, ah, the truth, the truth, I'm not, no, no, no. They start attacking you and everything. They find every reason in the book to not take responsibility. You see, I came from a broken home myself. And I learned early on that nobody cares. I learned early on, it's gonna be on me. At the end of the day, it's gonna be on me. Oh yeah, horrible upbringing. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be on me. Denzel said that he had his three best friends all got caught up. His, think about this family. It's four of you and three out of four gets caught up in the system. He said one of his friends did 15 years, one did 25, another did 28. Out of the four of them, he was the only one who grew up with his father in his life. He said his mother and father were not together, but his father was in his life. Man, that is the That's it, family. That's the catalyst. Men. Hey, man. You got a seed out there. You got a baby out there. Man, go get them. Go inject yourself in their life. I don't give a damn what's going on with the mama. I don't care what she got happening. I don't care how long it's been since you talked to your baby. Man, go inject yourself in your child's life. I don't see how some people can actually be responsible for bringing a whole human being into the world and not nurture. It's like planting a seed and not watering it, not fertilizing it. You know, not fertilizing the plant, not making sure it gets the right nutrients. You know, it don't even make sense to me. Watching my daughter being born was the proudest moment in my life. I thought I did something when I got a gold record 
Man, that gold record ain't shit. I don't give a damn about no gold record. They could have it. That moment I saw my daughter being born, like somebody that I was a human being coming into the world that I helped create. Oh, man. Some of you guys out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Man, that was a great feeling. The only feeling that can compare to it was when my son was born. I don't see how some dudes could miss that moment. I understand if there's a situation where you was caught off guard, maybe you was a few countries away or whatever. I get that. But to know and not be there, oh man. I feel sorry for you, man, to not have that experience. Denzel, he was right. He is right. It starts at home. Yes, they're targeting us. Y'all know I talk about it all the time. I'm no under no illusion. They are targeting us. They have targeted us from day one. And they've never taken their foot off our necks. They hate us. We know that. Now what you gonna do about it? No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.